All right, so let's start creating that screen. All right, so open up your code and in your root folder right here, create a new folder, all right, and call it operator like that. All right, then in your operator folder, create a new file and call it, let's call it operator.py, all right? So, first things first, let's do our imports. Close that real quick. So, let's uh, say from kiwi.app imports our app class. Alright. And again from kiwi.box layout import the box layout. Box layout, come on. Great, so let's create our classes and it's going to put operator window. Operator window is going to inherit from the box layout. All right, then let's take care of the constructor right here. All right, define in itself and allow more arguments like that and super dot init whoops uh quarks all right now the running of the application so operator app inherits from app and override the build function Whoa. like that and our build function simply returns the operator window all right so from there we can simply say if name oops if name is equal to main then we want to run our application all right so oa is equal to operator is equal to operator app then oa dot run done deal all right so smoke tests operator dot pi ah operator folder so operator slash operator dot pi hmm. from key dot box layout strange from kiwi dot box layout uh oh sorry from kiwi dot ui x dot box layout well wow. uh operator operator and smoke test works so let's get to business create a new file still in your folder right here Call it operator.kv, all right? And let's define our root widget. We call it operator window, all right? ID main window. And let's change the background. Mm -mm. Orientation first orientation let's make this vertical then let's change the background so canvas double four target the color and we want to make it an RGBA color and it's going to be pure white all right then with this color let's draw a rectangle 
and the size of this rectangle is going to be the size of our widget. Position of this rectangle is going to be position of our widget. All right, great. Now, let's create the top bar that we talked about down here. All right, so box layouts. Mm -mm -mm. Box layout, an ID of header and uh, okay, so let's create the two labels that we have, all right? So label that we don't need an ID for this. Okay, so let me check down here real quick. And all right, so it's a label and a drop down. So back to our code. Text is going to be whatever you're calling this program. So we'll pause and I'll call this. Uh, yeah, so we'll pause system and take care of the sizing. So size hint x point uh, nine should work on the y axis. We do not have to do anything. However, we can say size hint y here and whoops none and we want this box layout's height to be about 40 pixels all right so that is that bold let's make this bold of course so bold is true and for now, let's just make this a button. We'll change it later to a uh, a drop down. All right. So the ID is going to be logged in user, and the text for now is just going to be JDO. And uh, what else? 